Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. I was advancing the game a little bit behind the scenes, mostly just to clean up the sweepings. I got quite a bit of it done, but I noticed something happening, so I I did a few changes and then stopped so that I can bring you in on it. I'm starting to get a stress problem here. Tomislav is having some issues, and his stress is jumped up to 39, whereas the others are in around 10%. So, why? Grimy, dirty hands, and tired, that's pretty much all of them. Yeah, just in a different order. Um, I think I saw Handy over here. Don't have the third and fourth bed done yet. Same thing, plus low oxygen. It's adding stress to her. Where's Ebony? Uh, where's my keys? There? There you are. Yeah, just sleeping away. So, no beds for these two yet. That'll happen today. Uh, same, tired, grimy, dirty hands. So that's not it. So, back to Tomislav. We've got a stats. Decor expectation of 10. So, when he is in a space that is... 10 or better, at 10, then it's neutral. Better, the stress goes down. Worse, the stress goes up. So that's how the decor system works, to my knowledge. And so what I did was I quickly built one room with pictures and a plant to add, let's see if it says here, Masterpiece adds 44, adds 44. So the room in general, well, where he is at specifically, 83. So that is a huge boost to uh, to depleting some of the stress. We're near the beginning of the night. I wanted to see how one night in a room like this would drop that 39. Otherwise, we need to get a massage table going and get that stress taken away. But 10 is what he needs as his neutral, which is, there's a 15, 18, 10. So you can see this very slight green right there. It needs to be at least that color or better. By the time we get all of the, the uh, debris picked up, the debris is, is huge. Look at that one. This section right here has eight debris in there, and that counts for a negative 77. They really don't like the clutter and the mess laying around. So to have it in places where they are all day, a big pile of it next to the the research station, would be putting a negative into whoever's doing researching all day long. I don't know what he has been doing lately. He is set up for research. Also power. Could have run the wheel for a while with the clutter that was here before they did the sweeping. Don't know. So a cumulative with all the different things that he had been doing, landing him in places with lots of clutter here and there, he ended up in pretty rough shape. So, I'll turn this back on. What I wanted to do was to see how that 39 changes over one night. And is it enough to not worry about dealing with it? Don't know that it's going to be. We have another dupe to look at, but I think we're going to see maybe 35 at the best. So we had better go ahead and plan a place for a massage table. Where to? Could go further up into here. Tell you what, we could just temporarily put it somewhere. Let's do that. Let's... Oh, let's see. Furniture, that's right here. I had put one of these in every bedroom on my previous... Let's Plays, or uh, not Let's Plays, just my own pre uh, private games. When you could assign a table to someone and they would just come and, and it would be done, but now it's all powered. You've plugged these guys in and it's a different kind of operation. So it makes more sense to have these in a oh, an area set up specifically for this purpose. You want it in a place that, or 34%, want it in a place uh, that's going to be happy too. So they're not only getting a, a bonus because of the massage table, but also getting a bonus because of the environment. Which is why it would make sense to put one right here for now. You know, let's do that. First of all, let's sweep nine this room. Make sure everything leaves this room. And let's put in 
34%. I think we're going to call this important. So we're going to use sandstone because that's the most abundant thing in the game that I've found. And we're going to kick this one up to a top priority. Don't you guys get that one done so that we can put uh, him in there. I'll show you how that system works. But let's grab power, wiring. It's odd how it takes two clicks to get something to work sometimes. All right, hook you in. And let's look at the wiring right there. So we have got a potential of 420 watts on this system so far, uh, demand. We're powering 240 of it right now. So that is what? Oh, did that tell me? Supercomputer. I had a click. Oh, i got to be just in the right spot. Okay, that doesn't help me. Pop out of this mode. There we go. Supercomputer, energy. In fact, this is all of it. Here we go. So any of the energy tabs, I think, will give you everything on its circuit, I'm going to guess. So supercomputer will use 120. The research station will use 60. And then the two algae deoxidizers. There and there. And I'm going to move this guy to center. So it can more evenly distribute up these vents, up this pathway, and up these vents on both sides. I think that'd be the, the more permanent place for one in here. And that's just until we get all of our venting in and a whole new oxygen supply system going. But that will do for now. In fact, I can queue that one up as well. How are we doing other, uh, in that regard? We're actually doing really good. Good enough to where I can shut that system down for a while and save some algae. Algae down to around 5,000. We mined out a little bit too. So we had used some and then added some back in. It's going to run off faster than you think. Let's disable both of these. Let's deconstruct this one. And let's see. Grab a new one right there. Set you as an 8. Put you. Can I put you there? You will not let me. Let's get rid of that. I want to do something. Deconstruct. I want to build in. I want him lower. He'll work just like they're just fine the way he is, but I want to see the animation. We're going to do that. And let's. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll do them both at an 8, but let's set him in place like that. I wonder if there was power in there before I deleted that. I always forget to check. I don't think about that sometimes until things stop working and I realize, ah, that's what I did. All right, prioritize. Let's make this group an eight. You guys will get to that. Let's power that up. Uh, power right there, and we'll tap this direction. Perfect. Now we get to see the top. When, you're, when they're buried up against the ceiling, it just doesn't feel right, because it's doing stuff, and it, it's all hidden. One of the things that's so neat about this game is the animations of it. Also, if you watch the faces, of the dupes. They'll kind of let you know what they're feeling and what they're thinking. 31%. You're actually doing better all by yourself. Interesting. So, everyone has kind of neutral faces right now. They're a little bit tired, a little bit grimy, and, and uh, they're not overly happy, but they're also not overly unhappy. So, we're doing decent. We're getting a, a C grade right now. Alright, what do we have in the way of dupes? And do we want any of them? Alrighty, if this was a positive learning I would say this is a possibility. 10 is about as high as I want to go. 20 is a no. It's hard to maintain a 20 as a as a, a, a default for the whole environment. They're going to be off of some pretty nasty areas working through the day. They're going to come back all stressed out. So I would like five zeros and negatives if I can. Though I want to get into some learning and then get at least a few attributes going. So I'm going to say no to this group. Reject all. Okay. Otherwise, massage table is in, waiting for power. Let's prioritize eight, that one, because I probably just left it as a five. All right. I'm going to prioritize the table itself, though, as a nine. I want them over and above everything else they're getting stressed out to go deal with it go take a little little vacation a little holiday and uh, don't look at me 
and uh, get it up here and get it taken care of. Anyway, so we've got a power plug sitting right there that we don't need sticking out, so let's deconstruct that one. Otherwise, mostly just doing some catch-up this time. Need to get four bedrooms up and running. That's important. Need to get the sweeping done in these four bedrooms. Need to... I see we have a lot of research going. Research. We decided to plug our way through the uh, uh, this this chain right here. All the way out to mesh tiles. So that gets us the air deodorizer, which cleans up polluted oxygen, which we can put over by our compost heap. Gives us the laboratory and the hand sanitizer and the shower. So we could play with this in the next episode or two. Also gets us our med bay. So our doctor has somewhere to work. Apothecary will produce medicines and the rejuvenator will take a, a wounded uh, dupe and heal him up. So that's the research plan for now. Lots of storage to deal with. That's what Ebony's working on. Murphy is... Gotta use the bathroom over there. And they're mighty researchers. So we're not going to get any construction done until the sweeping is finished. All right, then let's cancel some sweeping. Don't have to have this group done right now. It's not affecting anybody. I do want the bedrooms done because all the construction, all the digging out is done in here. So I may as well get that cleaned up. I'd like to get the food cleaned up. And that is some nasty air in there. Woo! Put that one in. Tile. That doesn't look like the same material. Sandstone. Okay. Looks darker. I hear uh, someone taking a nap out there. And you will set for an eight. That'll kind of clean that wall up. Who is that? Uh, gone. Okay. Finish. So we get the last of the sweeping done. Pick it up. 50 kilograms of copper and ah, tossed it into the uh, the wiring. Oh good. More copper? Let's I, these are the, not the doors that I meant to put in here. I just realized that as I was editing last time. I meant to put in these. I think they run a lot faster. I don't need to seal air in. I just wanted to give them the sense of a door. Yeah. I'm going to priority nine the doors so that they override all other commands. And then I'm going to say let's deconstruct them. Deconstruct buildings. These can go away. I meant to put in the other doors. So let's cancel these guys. Our cancel is set to sweep only. Okay. There we go. Let's cancel these doors before they build them. And pneumatic door encloses rooms without blocking the flow of gas or liquid. So it basically keeps out wild wild creatures. Where'd you go? Oh, something else just jumped in here. Gas permeable tile. No, that wasn't it. What jumped in here? It changed my order, but we've had all these things. Huh, I have to go back and look at the... Uh, at... Uh, when I edit this. Anyway, let's set these guys in. And eights for the rooms that are nope. They're not being not ready yet. Okay, so fives for up in here. And this is using copper. And we are not deconstructing. Research is set for what? Set for eight. How are we doing on that, anyway? Stats? Yeah. No, let's do it this way. It'll be a little easier. Research. There you are. So we've got Handy and Tomislav working on researching. We've got a three and a three. Okay. So gradually they're getting the way up there. And as we get uh, more dupes, we'll put them into those jobs and get their learning up as well. So just like... Tomislav had the... Try that again. There you are. Had the negative quality of dimensionally inept. 
So incapable of building. Um, Ebony. Where? There you are. Had the characteristic of yokel, so cannot not do research. That's why we don't see the option to do research here or the option of doing construction here. So unfortunately I can't train up these two positions at all. So those are some of the limitations that came with those characters. This didn't get done yet. How is our oxygen faring? Could get this guy going again. That guy can stay off. So this guy we want to get up and running. So by setting research to an 8 there we go. If I say, this is an emergency, let's get this done, priority 9, they will stop their research and just get to work. That's interesting. Did I not set the doors for 9s so that we can get these torn down? What else did I click on? I thought I just did that. All right, one more time. Let's get the doors torn down. And let's get this guy in. Then you can go back to your normal day job. Except for Handy. Which job? Handy. Build. It's checked. wonder why she went back to the computer at 8 instead of the, the construction job at 9. Interesting. I guess she got this, both of them got this order before I managed to, to reset those. They're going to finish off this particular unit of research. And then they're going to reevaluate to see if there's any nines they have to do instead. And or when the power runs out, <laughs> they'll get to work. This is marked as a nine as well, the power. So that's why it equaled these other jobs and he jumped into that. And the game probably gives a, uh, um, a bonus to power because that's a pretty important uh, issue to deal with. We didn't get the sweeping done, so we still have hatches kind of eating some important stuff. You don't want to lose your sand. You don't want to lose your dirt. When they run out, they run out. But, ooh, got an athletics bonus running to the composter. So another job that's just not all that exciting. And look at the, look at the uh, hard work there. Um, that's it, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, I see that uh, this has been built. I'm going to give it an 8. Is that what we're doing the other ones? Yeah, these are 8s. So I want to make sure that's up and running. That's going to be our one oxygen supply now that we've kind of caught up a little bit. Got ahead of the curve. There we go, dumping in the algae, and it's up and running. And that's what I want to see. It's not necessary, but I think it's cool. I think it adds a lot to the game to be able to see all these little animations. So with that, we'll go back to oxygen, that one, or to... Oxygen overlay. Yep, that is something that uh, a couple um, cycles back on the updates of this game, it wasn't just oxygen, it was all the gases. So it'd be a color for, instead of unbreathable, red would be carbon dioxide. And you'd have yellow for, for you know, all the different kinds of gases, and it would show you where they all are. I don't see that anymore. That doesn't seem to exist. Now... If I click it twice, doesn't give me a backup. Hmm, that's too bad, because that was real important. I will, hopefully they'll put that back in. Get enough complaints that uh, that needs to be changed. Anyway, what are we doing? We got our doors taken out, so let's get the correct doors put in. And eights on these, they're active, and we're doing eight on the bedrooms, trying to get those finished. 17% on the stress. Never did get this going in order to show you the stress, so let's do that real quick while there is still some stress available. Um, priority 9, this group. And let's get power in so we can see how that works. Because pretty soon he's going to be de-stressed on, all on his own and won't need this table. And, and then by the time we actually need it again, I'll forget to, to highlight it. Okay, picking up copper? No. Maybe, oh, because there's copper already already loaded in. I see. They've already got it supplied. They just have to do the work. And we're in. All right. So, the massage table. 
Duplicants will automatically use massage table if their stress enters break time range. Okay. Duplicants tend to carry a lot of tension in their, well, everything. So you can set a high and low here. What I would like to do is something like 25. Yeah, about there. Down to, yeah, we'll say 15. So when they hit 25, they're going to go use the table. When it drops to 15, they're going to get off the table. No point in taking it down to zero because, uh, boy, roll the scroll mouse when that was open and all kinds of things happened. I change anything? No. Because sleeping in this room is going to take 5 to 10 off, potentially all by itself. And as we get more of the base... Oh, I see. I'm not on my WASD, so I'm hitting all kinds of strange buttons. As uh, we get the rest of the base starting to look better and feel better, they'll start losing stress just by sitting here running the wheel because there'll be a couple of paintings and a, and a plant next to them. They'll be all happy. So, oh, we've cleaned up this room too, and... I see we've let all the carbon dioxide into the base. <laughs> How are we doing down here with that? We've not gotten back to this area to, to finish cleaning this up. Okay. Because we want to get the bedrooms done. What do you say? Skip some research and just get the bedrooms done? I think so. Let's do that. What else is important? Food? Food is running low. Food is... All right, let's talk food right now. Food I was going to do over here. So let's prioritize nine. Let's get that dug out. And that built. And that dug. And that dug. Okay. Get her done. Another duplicate possibility? What do we have? Ooh, that looks good. What's, what's the takeaway? Actually, it's looking pretty good. Let's see what our other choices are. 10, 10. Food quality is something that's new to this update. So, kind of like decor expectations, the food quality is an expectation too. Um, I'm not real sure how to read that yet. Food quality expectation is the minimum quality of food a duplicate can tolerate eating. A duplicate requires zero or higher food and will become stressed if forced to eat lower quality foods. Okay. There was a food overlay. Ah, qualities, negatives. Okay. Negative threes. So, I see. Lice, at least we have lice loaf. So, if they're eating only meal lice off those plants that we planted, they'll have a negative, they'll be below their if they're a negative two, they'll be below their expectations, including pickled meal. I've not that's something new. Field rations again, something new. Muck root we've seen that, that's that's already been in the game, and the mush bar. Uh, oh, if you watch that thing being made, you'd you'd hate eating that too. The mush fry is made with the the cook stove, and the lice loaf is probably what we're going to be getting into. And then there's meat, which is a hatch body slammed okay so you can designate you can say i don't want ebony eating any of these foods problem is if you forget that you've done that and you no longer have any of these foods and ebony's on a diet that she doesn't really care to be on so i'm going to say that that's not the plan i want to get into right now it's paused in the background so i can jabber all i want so we have catalina Plus six learning is huge. Normally when you get a plus six and all of these other benefits, you get something like 15 to 20 on the decor expectation. So five is really good for this much bonus. Mouth, mouth breather means that they're going to breathe a lot more oxygen in. Gastrophobia. Unshakable fear of kitchens and the culinary arts cannot perform cooking. Aha. Okay. We can handle that. We've got to cook, right? Or do we yet? Cook? Eh, not really. We've got Murphy and Handy and Ebony all willing to try. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is the winner. The disadvantage, of course, is the mouth breather. So, air consumption rate 100 grams per second. As compared to what? Can I go to somebody else? I can. Um... 
Does it say how much they're wanting per day? Exhaling, inhaling, 104 grams per second. So this means, what, an additional 100? Maybe that means an additional 100 on top of what, they're, what the others do. That's probably what that means. So we're going to make the guess of double. Interesting. Back in the early days of this game, that was a game breaker. Because you just couldn't make enough oxygen long enough. At least I couldn't. I, I went several games and I just got to where the death spiral began. So you, you ran with as few dupes as you possibly could because they all breathed. <laughs> the game has been rebalanced and it works a lot better now. So I'm going to say this is our next dupe. Whoopee! And print. Which means we need a fifth bedroom going. And we're going to need a name for this one. So, what you guys could do if you're going to be watching Food Shortage. Yep, if you're going to be watching the series and uh, kind of committing to, to being here and, and saying hi in the comments once in a while and what have you and want your name in the game and want to participate, then let me know. And some family-friendly name or, or your YouTube name, you know, whichever you, whichever you choose. So start building up a list of, <clears throat> of subscribers that would like to be part of this series as well. Otherwise, we're getting this done, finally. Okay, we're in. And the reason I was concerned is these are just about ready to, uh, to finish. And I need food. In fact, it could finish this cycle. It's that, does, this, does it tell me when? No, 48%. So I guess we've got some time. Food, <clears throat> the microbe musher. Produces low-quality food for duplicants using common ingredients. Duplicants will not fabricate unless recipes are queued. You are going to live over here by the food chest. Where? Don't know that it's important one way or another. What, what else I'm going to put into this area? Could put the cook stove in, which we don't have yet. The cooking station. That's a good size unit. Probably four spaces wide. So if we go right here, that should work out. Actually, I'm going to go there. Because this guy's going to go away with the thought that we're going to start venting down our carbon dioxide and pulling it out over here. So I'm thinking he goes there. Just like this guy moved over to that point. How's that looking, by the way? That's given us a nice even push up into here. And it'll eventually push downwards into these two. Yeah, carbon dioxide is going to start dropping in. We may or may not do the what I was thinking of with the, uh, uh, the al algae terrariums in here to, to cancel the carbon dioxide as it comes down out of the bedrooms. I'll wait to make that decision until... Pause. We're really dropping until uh, we've got all 12 bedrooms filled and see what the real workload is here. But this needs to get done. It needs to get done in a in a big way. So let's get this going. We'll think about that later. But you're a nine. I need you done now because we need to make some mush bars until this is ready to pop. Um, and then we've got to decide how long this is going to last and if that is enough. When we get to the the better quality planting systems, uh, the, the newer stuff from this update, this would be enough for quite a few dupes. But we're not there yet. Um, power, I want to get you guys working on this here real quick, which is probably going to just about push us into, uh, <clears throat> into the maximum for our circuit soon. Um, priority, nine. I want this done but I see I hit that one and that one yeah okay let's get this going so we can get some food being made and then <clears throat> oh <clears> my <throat> throat <coughs> there we go then um, we gotta get some bedrooms done <laughs> we've got to get them done let's make this the next one that's got the least work to do to get there did we ever get uh, furniture? 
We did. The mess table. That goes there. That's what the extra space was for. The mess tables. That's right. Made out of copper for some reason. You're going right there next to the pot. The plant. So you can get the most advantage to the uh, the decor bonus that comes out of that. And we need... Gas permeable tile. Gonna go into these spaces. I'll go ahead and commit the copper now. I think we've got it. Um, <clears throat> we'll put more of those into various places as we as we grow. All right. So this got mostly done. Three thousand calories. Ah, we got it done. They're ready to uh, to harvest. Oh, good. Okay then. You are searching for oxygen because you still didn't... Oh, you don't have a bedroom yet. That's right. So out of curiosity, does it still show details? No, yeah, so the little saying underneath Catalina didn't, uh, didn't come in. Okay. Actually, you know what? I do have a name for Catalina. I do. Got someone that watches the uh, the series but isn't able to leave comments under the video. I'm going to change Catalina to Natalia. Did I spell that right? I think so. Yep, I'm going to do that. Natalia, you're in the game. There we go. So you are a. Does he give the title? Yeah, you're a scientist. Perfect. Okay. And jobs. Here's something I tend to forget to do. Art 2, 4. Now, you are not going to be an artist. Cooking is where? Right there. You cannot cook, <laughs> which is the opposite of the RimWorld series that she's in, where she is the cook. Um, research. There we go. So you're research 6, 5, 3, Okay, so let's turn you off of research. We'll get these two brought up to at least the 6-7 level that the other two are. Okay. All right. But still, if you are just interested in having your name in the game, then let me know. And uh, I'll just keep a, a list running here. And as new dupes show up, then we'll, uh, we'll add you in. All right. I want these to be... Well, we'll, we'll have to do a mush bar at some point just for the, the thrill of watching it being birthed. But otherwise, life loaf, a lice loaf, and continuous. So give us a description. Does not. Well, we'll see one here soon. Awaiting material delivery of meal lice. Yep, we're going to make this one. Make this one an eight. It's fairly important. Gonna make sure that is going. All right. So, someone's going to get the command to deal with that. Otherwise, the the lice are being delivered. Ah, we didn't get there in time. This one will pop soon, though. So these are meal lice, and they kind of creep and crawl all over the plant as they're growing. But uh, this one will show us here real soon. But the food storage is set at 9, so they are grabbing the stuff immediately to go and uh, pick that up. Otherwise, we have delivered meal lice and water. Yeah, water and meal lice it takes to pop out a thousand kilocal. No, one plus one thousand. That's a comma. Yeah, a thousand kilocals. Okay. So all of the little lice are being squished together into one nasty loaf. A loaf, a loaf of lice. Little by little. And we need some air in here, huh? We need some air in here. So we need to get this air to drop. We're having a hard time doing that, aren't we? Since we're having such a hard time doing that, let's do something specific about it. Let's deconstruct building. Hmm. If I do that, I'll kill it. Let's do that one and that one. And let's dig nine. Pull these out. 
And let's do what I had said before. Let's grab a new algae terrarium, put it right there. And that one I want built immediately too. Priority, uh, yeah, I'm going in for the nines. It's just what I do. I got to do it. <laughs> All right, these are being cleaned up. Let's go in with, I don't do a lot of nines. So putting them in just, just for specific projects is, is different than saying, okay, I want all this nine. I want it all done right now. So we're using it to surgically implement very specific issues that are important right now. We've got to get some oxygen in here. So finishing that one. Ebony took over. Doors went in. And that looks better. That's more of what I was wanting. I'm curious to see, does it give a rate of opening uh, any sense of a speed? No. I would think that this door would open faster. Whoa! That zoom, I tell you. This takes quite a while. Okay, every time we hit... Every time they take it out of here and put it into here. Something. It, it freaks out the, uh, the warning system. Okay. Anyway, got these in. Let's get that taken out. Uh, deconstruct. Building only there. And... Boy, I would love to get that one done. Let's let that one drop. I should see that go up by a thousand as soon as it hits. So while I'm waiting, you nine into there. There it is. 4,600. Picked it up and putting it away. And that's right. I can do that right over the top, can't I? I always forget about that. I'm used to tearing out first. Okay. So with that, let's do one more. Right there. And let's... Yep. Still in that food shortage problem. Let's um, dig out that whole group. Let's get it done. I wonder if that's a hatch, though. Let's cancel that one. This one is done. You're an eight. Get you in. As soon as these nines are done, they'll get back to the eights. We'll leave this here a little bit longer to kind of help clean up the area. But then we'll take this one down as soon as we see that the uh, carbon dioxide is actually starting to drop through this. All right. That's looking better. Now, do we get any sense of movement? We would if this was able to push down into here. It's only got these two little openings right now because I'm trying to separate this. I'm thinking that's not going to work. It's probably not going to work. I don't really need this system in here to push this oxygen down. Let's turn this guy on for a while. And s not that one. That one. And see if that makes a difference. As far as building up air pressure, pushing the carbon dioxide through and into this area. As this absorbs carbon dioxide, it should help too. All right. It's emitting oxygen. Okay, I see that. This is something that's interesting. So it is sucking about 300 oh, milligrams. Ah, okay. I don't use metric, so it isn't obvious what I'm looking at here. Okay, so we're taking a little bit of carbon dioxide out. We'll say one-tenth. And then putting out, so putting out 10 times as much oxygen. So we're actually building pressure down here. I was thinking it was the opposite. I was thinking it was sucking out more carbon dioxide than the oxygen it was replacing it with. So that it would create more, it would eventually create a vacuum. Sucking the carbon dioxide into the space, pulling it toward it. But it's actually doing the opposite. It's creating more oxygen than carbon dioxide and it's pushing everything away. Huh. So then we're dependent upon the weight of the carbon dioxide to overcome the pressure to eventually drop down low enough and ooze over. So we're going to see a boost of oxygen pushing upwards in here and the carbon dioxide kind of coming underneath it and rolling through here, which isn't going to help this go through. 
Huh. Okay. Well, hey, good. We got a chance to see this. So there's the meal lice. Yummy. <laughs> Bed beyond reach. Where? How? Ah. You built yourself into a wall there, didn't you? Into a hole. Okay, let's get the priority up on that one. Make sure that these get built so you can get out. And somehow we lost a lot of our priorities in this area. That's why it's not happening. Let's eat all of this. Well, we hadn't done the floors before. We'll do it. Eight. That guy. Nine. These two. And what? I uh, don't have a dig order in here. Dig at nine. Right there. To get us into this area. So we can start working on that bedroom. Okay. That should do it. Stress, 7%. Okay. Yeah, we never really got to see that one working. I was going to set it down low temporarily just to get... Uh, yeah, we can still do that right near the end of the day. Let's go for zero and anybody over five will come and grab this. And he's still set at a nine or at an eight. We'll go for nine. And Tomasov says, I'm first, I'm first. Ah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. That's the face of a happy dupe. All right, that's enough. No more. <laughs> How do I get a hold of that? There it is. All right, so we're setting you for 25 and 15. And if our bedrooms get cleaned up enough... Come on. Boy, it's hard to set that. Then they'll almost never use it. And this will eventually come out of here and be into some other room just for that purpose. But you never got set... You did. You got set for an 8. But I set a few things at 9. And these floors right there so you can get out. Yeah. And that has taken over the priority. But eventually we'll get back to harvesting this guy. 6,000. No longer getting any warnings. Dropping off a new loaf. Do we have more in here? Uh, meal lice? None. So we're, we've cooked everything that we've gotten. So you're going to go get more? You're not. Ah, I clicked on the planter box. Eight. This never got set for nine. Or for eight. Okay. Because you guys are eights also. In fact, we'll just... Interesting, I can't. Only the planter box can be copied. The plant itself cannot. Aha. But we're grabbing all the meal lice off of here. Drops down. Boom. Conked out. How many beds do we have going now? Ooh, we got three. We're getting there. Anything drop that is blocking pathways? No. Okay. So, I think it's probably time to call this episode done. I'm going to run ahead a little bit primarily getting the sweepings done. We need to finally get everything out of here that our hatches are eating. And then one of these episodes we'll wrangle some hatches all into a specific place. So I kind of want to find a few more of them before I do that. So mostly I need to clean this place up. So I'm going to do that off camera and when we get back we'll pick a new adventure to dive into. So this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.